Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Quick disclaimer, I am not an expert on African folklore, nor am I a voice for the people of Africa. I'm merely an enthusiastic amateur here to narrate a story that I've had the honor of learning. Enjoy! At the beginning of time, the world was nothing but water and darkness. The ruler of this dark, empty world was Bamba, the first ancestor, a cosmic being gigantic in stature and white in color. Bamba was a lonely god, and this loneliness ate at him, and it made him ill. The illness swelled within him. Intense pain filled his stomach. And then suddenly, Bamba vomited, and out came the sun. The heat from the sun evaporated much of the water, creating clouds in the sky and revealing landforms. Bamba vomited a second time, and out came the moon and the stars, dividing the day and the night. Bamba continued to vomit. This time, however, he threw up nine animals. Koi Bamba, the leopard. Ponga Bamba, the crested eagle. Ganda Bamba, the crocodile. Yo Bamba, the fish. Kono Bamba, the tortoise, Tsitsi Bamba, the panther, Yanyi Bamba, the heron, Budi, the goat, and the scarab beetle. The animals then proceeded to create even more animals to populate the land. Yanyi Bamba created the birds. The scarab beetle brought forth the world's insects. Yo Bamba filled the rivers and lakes with fish. Budi created all of the horned animals. Ganda Bamba created snakes and other reptiles. One of these reptiles, the iguana, proceeded to create all of the non-horned animals. As his animal children proceeded to populate the earth, Bamba began to vomit human beings. His eldest three sons, Nyanyi Ngana, Chonganda, and Chidi Bamba, opted to help their father to finish creating the world. Yanyi Ngana vomited white ants, though the attempt would be his undoing. The ants honored their creator, bringing forth dark soil from the bowels of the earth, transforming the barren lands, and giving Yanyi Ngana a proper burial. The second son, Changanda, brought forth the first green shoot and watched as the magic plant grew buds, flowered, spread its seeds, and generated all the plants, grasses, trees, and bushes in the world. Chidibamba then stepped forth and made the final bird of the world, the kite. Tsitsibamba was troublesome and caused great havoc on the earth. This led Bamba to drive her away into the heavens, where she became the lightning. Her rage would occasionally appear and strike at the earth, creating fire whenever it struck trees. Bamba then showed the people of earth how to harness fire from the trees, to keep warm, cook food, make tools. When the creation was finally finished and all was at peace, Bamba retreated to the heavens, bestowing leadership to his youngest son, Lokoyima, and allowing humankind to govern their new world. 